Yeah, thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm a huge fan. Not only do I know that you were just sound checking, I actually know what you were sound checking from Twitter. So I appreciate your time. I know you've got uh, two shows coming up at the man the next couple of nights. So uh, I really appreciate your time. Thanks for doing this. It's it's important information. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. So yeah, the news just uh, came out a couple hours ago that uh, Fish will be performing uh, two benefit shows at SPAC. Uh, to benefit the victims of the flooding in the Hudson Valley and Vermont. Obviously, New York and Vermont, really two home states to fish in many ways, certainly a lot of your fans. Uh, how were you able to turn around such a big event like this so quickly? We started planning this event pretty much the day that the that the, the destruction and the flooding started. Uh, we've been on tour for about three weeks now, so I haven't even been home for any of this. Mm -hmm. But of course we knew about it and everyone's contacting us and we're seeing the papers and reading, seeing videos and it's it's heartbreaking. And, and there is a lot of destruction and devastation and a lot of people are really having a hard time. So uh, so we started planning this thing a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. and uh, we did something like this for Tropical Storm Irene in 2011, mm -hmm. we were able to raise $1.2 million back then. And that was with one show at the Vermont Expo in the Champlain, Champlain Valley Fair grounds. Um, we were able to move it to SPAC because the fair is happening in Vermont that week. So we weren't able to do it up there. And we hope to raise a lot more money this time. We have better infrastructure. People are more comfortable with giving over the internet and giving by text and these sorts of things. So um we want to do whatever we can but yeah it's been going on for a few weeks and and it's the wheels are moving yeah no it, it's great to see obviously you know charity is a huge part of what you guys do certainly during uh covid you were very active just as a band sort of it, it sort of fits with your general ethos you know just for people who may not be as familiar with fish as i am uh you know, talk about the importance i think for you guys uh, of giving back uh to your local communities because it's something you've done quite a bit uh in your 40-year career by the way now 40 years crazy <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 40 years young. Um, we started the Water Wheel Foundation, which is our nonprofit organization, the, the, that, that arm of our organization. And we started that about over 25 years ago. And it was around the time that we got uh, Ben and Jerry's gave us fish food ice cream. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to take some of that money and direct it towards helping to clean up Lake Champlain. That was kind of our focus for a lot of years. How, how can we, what can we do to help, help the lake and help the people around the lake and, and, and keep it vibrant and, and full of life. Um, and it's not just that though. we we work with organizations in each town that we go to. Uh, we have tables set up outside in the hallways and the, at the venues so that people are able to donate to local organizations as well as to the water wheel organization. And, um, you know, we spread it around as much as we can and, and give it to as help as many people as we can. That's what we did with Tropical Storm Irene. And that's how it's going to be with this one as well. We we have high hopes of being able to help help some people, but it's really bad right now. Yeah, I know. I know. I think Water Wheel is nearing what, $10 million you've raised over the, the life of the organization. I, I think it's somewhere it's somewhere close to that for sure. Um, and obviously, you know, for for local fans, we're getting excited for starting this Friday, I'll be spending seven uh, nights with you at MSG in the coming week or so. We're all excited for that. I'm curious, obviously the Baker's Dozen was a perfect name, 13 shows. Have we settled on any sort of nickname for the upcoming seven night run at MSG yet? We have not. And I, and it's, you know, it's, it's just seven nights at the garden. And, and I think that kind of speaks for itself. We love playing that room. It's, it feels like home to us. And we have now played there. Uh, Billy Joel is the only guy who has played more shows there than we have. We just, uh, on our last run, surpassed Sir Elton. So we are <laughs> number two uh, for the for the number of the garden. We we love the room. We love the staff there. It really does feel like a home, a, a home residency. And I can't even believe that I play in a band where the garden feels like our home. No, but it's, I it's, mean, it's neither can your fans. Place. I think we all feel like, how did we get to this place? No one would have thought 30 years ago that you'd be playing more than Elton John, more than the Grateful Dead. It's it's such a miracle, the whole thing. That's what makes it so much fun. Is, is there going to be any sort of, um, you know, obviously we did the donut theme. Is there anything you can tell us about any sort of a uh, theme that accompanies the music this time? We're, we're trying to, uh, you know, we're working on some new music. We're trying to to debut some new songs um, and play some stuff, new stuff at each show. And that's really where our focus is now is just 
um, moving forward and looking forward and new material and our fans really like that. They are, uh, they're ravenous when it comes to that. They, they want to hear new stuff. And, and we're so fortunate to have a fan base that doesn't just want to hear the old material. They love the old material, mm -hmm. but they really are always encouraging us to try new things. So, and, and if I could say one more thing about our fan base, they're incredibly yeah. generous and it's through their generosity that water wheel has, has, has grown and through their generosity that we've been able to do so many good things and help out a lot of different people over the years. And it's, and that's what we're expecting with this benefit as well. Absolutely. We'd expect nonetheless, Paige, I'll let you go. I know it's a show night, night four of MSG will be my hundredth show. So it's been a thrill to be here for 28 years plus for me on my end. Uh, I, I love the music. I love what you guys stand for. It's just such a thrill. Thanks so much for your time. I know it's a busy day. Steve. Thank yeah. you so much for having me and uh, thanks for thanks for getting the awareness out about this benefit and the more people that can be involved. You don't have to be at the show to donate. It's it's uh, we're going to raise as much as we can to help help people in the area. Thank you. Awesome. All the best, Paige. Thanks so much. All right. Take care.